Why won't this damn sticker stay on? Stay on. Don't come off. Stay on. Jeez. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, we have the Apache cases. Now, you can find these at Harbor Freight. They are kind of a cheaper version of the Pelican case. But Pelican cases can be extremely expensive and sometimes us of the common folk can't afford to spend $136 on a case this size. A case this size would be like $236 if it was from Apache. Which is insane because I'm not like I'm parachuting in Kuwait and then you know going to war with it. It, it, it doesn't have the almanac in it you know. So I really don't need like a super high dollar case. You know, uh, if the equipment that I'm putting it in is not as much as the case, then that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if I had a $10,000 piece of equipment or something, then I can understand you investing two or $300 in a case to hold that. But the items that I use that, I, that are hold value to me are like in the $100 to $200 range. So I really much like these Apache cases. Um, they do come in three different sizes, although I do not have I do not have the third size. The third size I believe is $68. These are $27.99 and then these are like $18.99, something like that. Um, but they're they're great cases. They really are. Uh, one thing I was noticing between the difference between one thing I did notice between the 2800 and the 1800 was that you see these little plastic holes here? These are so you can like put a bolt through it or a lock or a padlock, something like that. These are plastic, these are metal. That's a nice little touch to it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of read off some specs to you. They're IP65 weather water tight rated. They are also dust proof. They have a pick and pull form factor they have pick and I'm sorry they have a pick and pull form factor foam in it so if we open it here this is what they're talking about the picking thing you can like pick it and peel it out basically it, it's designed to where whatever you want to put in there it can be easily ripped and you can easily fit it in here kind of like this I'll show you for my little one my little one holds a really expensive um, 1080p screen and what I did is I just tore out the pieces that I wanted for this to fit it and as you can see perfect it, I mean it works great um, there's foam at the top of both of them which is an extra fitting there's a nice rubber lip or a rubber seal that runs all the way around them I guess that's what gives it that dust and water tightness to it um, but yeah, you know some of my equipment like that is expensive So this type of case works great um, Especially for like this one. Here's the other one, right? Here's the 1800. See I got two of them this one holds my camera equipment for my uh, Monitor this is my camera monitor for my camera now this thing right here was really expensive This was like 250 bucks um, for this little tiny monitor that you see it shoved in here but it works great and then there's also equipment and stuff down inside there but yeah this thing works great it's 4k 1080p comes with HDMI uh, VGA and then inside there is a DVI port it mounts to camera it's tripods it even comes with a, a, a shield a sun shield that goes around it like so um, but yeah there's so many different things that you can do with these cases um, and they don't feel cheap. They really don't feel cheap. The clasps on them are, are pretty solid. All right. I would have to give the clasp like a eight out of ten because they this piece right here, the part that that clips onto them, that's a, like a solid piece of plastic that's built into the mold, which is very good. And then the latch itself, the latch itself is made out of hardened plastic with a metal rod running through the middle but the latch has like this really nice lip to it and it just it it grabs onto it 
and there's the, I mean it, it's not coming off especially since if you got it bolted here it's definitely not coming off I like it it works good uh, the dimensions of it it's a uh, let's see here, it's 11 inches by 7 8 times 9 by five and a half inches so it's it's uh, it's a decent size you know I think if you're going to get like one for camera gear you definitely want to get the 2800 model series uh, because the, the 1800 model series which is this one um, is good for little things like if you got like a lens like one little camera lens or something that you want to carry like you have one special lens that would work good uh, I have a mouse a cami mouse that was like 200 bucks it's by Rogue um, I actually carry it in one of these same with my Rogue Strick microphone that's really expensive that also comes in a secured padded protection case like this so um, you know there's tons of reasons for it I would like to open it and let's see what the inside looks like if you open inside the case first thing that comes in it is just like a pair of instructions that tells you basically how to customize this the foam how to put pull and pluck it to fit the size that you wish it comes with one and two pull pluck style foam pads in it and then there's one thin one at the bottom and then you just have hard plastic add down here so that's that's all right so as long as you got that and you know really if you're dealing with something thick or deep um, you know then you could you would have to just probably use both of them and then draw it with a marker outline like if you have a gun if you're going to buy this for a gun um, you would definitely probably want both sheets because they're they're super thick but you would probably want both sheets to hold the gun um, so what I would do is I would take both of the sheets, all right, and try to try to get them together. And if you can use a scotch tape or some kind of rubber band or something, to, and try to get them lined up perfectly and just kind of tape the edges together. You know, you're not trying to tape it down to ship it, but just try to get it just to hold. Um, so that way you can lay the object down, and then take your your marker or your I would probably use a sharpie and just highlight it um, outline the area and when you when you pull and pluck it like use a razor blade or a knife a knife you want to run it all the way through and make sure you're cutting both foams at the same time so that way they equally line up and perfectly fit the outline that you wish to seek now there is something that is very important to these that I always look at when it comes to cases and that is the hinge this part this is so important because if this gives way then the whole damn thing is useless right so I always check out the hinges and they're well I kind of wish that these were thicker but you can see that the metal protrudes through it so it's just it's just a molded I know what they do they press fit mold these out um, and then they just clamp them together with those metal pins and stuff and of course there's like a little rubber uh, bead or like a rubber gasket that runs through them. Um, I'm sure it's made out of ABS plastic I wouldn't doubt it uh, it's known as rugged mobility and then the front here the front I don't quite understand the front here Basically what it says is it says open and close valve securely before entering wet. Um, and I looked at it. All it does is it unscrews, okay? Wait a minute, which way does it unscrew? It unscrews one way and then on the other side there's like a little, there's just a screw that runs through with a C-clip on it. So I'm not quite sure what it does if anybody knows what it does like let me know tell me below in the comments that would be great to know exactly what it does or the functionality of it um, but here let's see if I can show it to you look see what I'm saying it's just a bolt with like a little C clip on it that that's all it is and if I I'm trying to turn it see I can only turn it so much until that C clip grabs it but 
w what's that doing? I don't feel like that's opening and closing anything. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. But, for 27 bucks, you can't go wrong with this case. And, like I said, I'm this is start of I'm going to buy more of them. I have two of these, and now I have two of these. And I absolutely love them. I, I can't, like, not not like them because um, I have so much expensive equipment and stuff that I would love to put in there especially like this graphics card when that graphics card comes out I'm going to put it in one of these cases I'll actually probably buy a case for them because they're 30 bucks a case it's cheap that's a $500 graphics card you know it balanced the cost of it so but yeah good review on it I wouldn't recommend you know running it over with a car it's not bulletproof you know it, but it would work. It, it's perfect for transferring. It's perfect for travel. Now, the shock rating. It doesn't mention anything about a shock rating. What is a shock rating? Well, a shock rating is like, let's say you have a camera body in there, and the camera has lenses and, and certain mirrors and stuff in certain ways. Well, if you drop it, the shock of that drop could cause the camera lens to er tilt or er like that inside of the camera and it, it's ruined you have to go and get it fixed well if it has a good drop shock rating then when it falls and hits the ground it'll absorb a lot of that and your equipment won't get destroyed um, it doesn't mention anything about an IPS drop rating but I assume that you know from a normal like I assume from like a normal hold height I would say that's probably about four maybe three to four feet off the ground depending how tall you are I think it'll be okay and for you to travel with it I think it'll be okay um, especially if you're like going on a plane ride or something like that or if you're just traveling down country or down the road I, I think you're good um, also if you guys like computers and stuff make sure to check out my YouTube channel that's mainly what I do is YouTube computer stuff I build well custom machines like this one sitting over here uh, but I hope you guys like this review make sure to leave me a like and subscribe and as always you guys be cool and we appreciate y'all watching this was the Apache 2800 rugged mobility from Harbor Freight they're about 27 bucks and then you got the 1800 down there that's like what $20 $18.99 and then you got the bigger one which is this which is two of those because what I did is I actually took, hang on a second, I'll show you. I actually did, as I took both of these, and I put them side by side to the next size up. And it was, it was exactly two of those. So that's how big their, their next size case up is from this one. So you got small, medium, and then the large is exactly that size is exactly two of those and it's like a a wheel kind like it has wheels in the back so you can lift it up and roll with it which is cool Arbor Freight also had a, 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 a toolbox down there that was badass that I liked but anyway I'm getting out of here thanks for watching guys leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next one